What's going on? This is Julian with Game Fanatics, and we are back with another video. The dust has settled. There's a lot to talk about, specifically about the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy week for people on the Xbox side of things, and I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about what it all means. So. Um, first, I just want to go through a few of the things I have written down here that happened. So, first, the Series X did leak. We already knew it was going to happen, but it leaked. Um, that will be releasing alongside the Series X um, for $299, and then we have a confirmed price for the Series X at $499. Both consoles releasing on November the 10th. Pre orders go live the 22nd. Um, these announcements were planned to happen later which is why the um the pre-order uh doesn't go live this week um so these announcements were supposed to happen maybe about a week later after they uh originally leaked which would have made them closer to the pre-order days um <clears throat> with that we have the xbox all access which is already a thing for the um for the one x uh, but for the one s you will be or sorry series s which i think that's going to be an issue but for the series s starting at 24.99 a month that gives you um the console and two years of xbox game pass ultimate and um for the series x that'll be 34.99 and then another huge huge thing we have here is ea access for uh or becoming a part of game pass ultimate now what is this what does this mean to me it has never been cheaper to jump into the next generation of console gaming and let me explain why so in with previous consoles when you buy the console in many cases some people buy another controller that's about another 50 to 70 dollars depending on if you get a battery pack um, when it comes to the Xbox uh, you're buying at the very least one game if not two depending on the type of gamer you are um, if not more then you have to buy uh, the online service uh, depending on how you pay for that that's either monthly or uh, yearly now it's it's not crazy to think that you may spend upwards of a thousand dollars when a console releases with these consoles uh there's a couple things that happen with all access um you now have a library of library of games to start with um for 24 at, starting at the lowest price 24.99 a month which is crazy um and i think over the two years for the one s you end up saving about 60 bucks um, with the one or sorry series s you end up saving about 60 bucks with the series x about 20. um then you also have to think about how the hardware is compatible uh going forward so that cuts out the price for new headsets depending that cuts out the price for new controllers cameras everything except for the uh connect of course that's gone um but yes, like, so day one, if you want, um, you can spend $24.99 and be set to go. Now, I do have to, I'm, I'm not a, a user of EA Access just because it, at that time, it wasn't a huge value to me. Um, one, I either owned or played it or didn't play a lot of those games anymore. And I don't play a lot of sports games. But if you think about the biggest games when it comes to a console launch, you always have your shooters. Uh, your racers and your sports games. Um, so depending on how this works out, um, you either go, you're either going to have those sports games for a cheaper price or included in this monthly price. So again, it has never been cheaper to get into the next generation of consoles. Um, now, I just want to throw in they that Nvidia did just announce their uh, 30 series of cards. Um, and as a 
huge console gamer myself. It doesn't mean much for me. And, and I think, but being in this community, we have to understand that um, there's not as many, there, there are a ton of PC gamers, but your, your normal everyday person is gonna be drawn to a deal like this. So this is very exciting. Even though PC gaming has never been cheaper, um, in my opinion, um, something like this is, is very, very, very appealing. Um, so if you want to know more of the details about how a lot of these things uh, break down, go ahead, go over to thegamefanatics.com and check out the article. We have links to um, the various posts on Xbox Wire. Um, this is very exciting. We'll probably have more videos and discussions around this. We're, we're expecting to see um, something from Sony soon. So I don't know if this is gonna force their hand. I mean, they're, overall they're gonna be fine. They don't have to rush, but people just wanna know the price and the date. I mean, we think $4.99, uh, the lowest for the digital version, maybe $3.99. So I don't know, what do you all think? Um, I, if, if the only, I mean, I, I'm thinking about going the all access route. Um, and that's only if they don't have a special launch version of the console. If they don't have that, then it makes no sense not to go the all access route. Um, this is a no interest uh, loan, basically, that you get to pay back over 24 months. So, like I said, uh, let us know what you think. And um, we'll see you next time.